Our other big story is six questions tonight about a routine procedure and how a Kenosha County inmate ended up paralyzed. Correctional officers entered the man's cell to restrain him. The I-team's Jermont Terry explains what happened next. Jermont? Mike, surveillance cameras captured the incident. Tonight, investigators are looking over that video. They have to determine if this was excessive force or an accident. But the men's attorney questions how a serious injury like this can even happen. A few weeks ago, emergency crews were called to the Kenosha County Detention Center. Inmate Sean Bialis could not move. When someone is in a facility, uh, the uh, correctional facility personnel are now responsible for their safety. According to the Kenosha County Sheriff's Department, Bialis was injured after correction officers were called into his cell. They were trying to place him in the restraint chair. As a result of those actions, he suffered very, very serious injuries, uh, including permanent paralysis. Attorney Jonathan Saffron represents Bialis. He questions if excessive force was used when six guards entered the cell and tried to restrain him. But it certainly concerns us that this severe of an injury can occur. But the Sheriff's Department's attorney claims there was a need to enter the cell. He was a threat to himself and that's what prompted the need for the use of the restraint chair. Bialis was in the detention center for an outstanding warrant for disorderly conduct and obstructing an officer. The 21-year-old has been in and out of jail since age 17 for several offenses, including resisting an officer. Is it possible that your client contributed to his own injuries? Anything is possible? You know, we're still investigating in terms of what happened, uh, not only in the moments leading up to these events, but what happened in the course of that day. The Kenosha County Sheriff's Department originally said it believes the staff acted in accordance with our policy and procedures. The incident was called on camera and will likely be key in this investigation. Until we get a chance to see that, we, we don't know enough information. And tonight, the Racine County Sheriff's Department is leading this investigation. The six correction officers involved are still on the job as the case is under review. As for Bialis, he remains in the hospital tonight. Back to you. All right. Thanks, Jermont.